My name is Jamie Duall, and I am, I guess my title is the Concord Christian School Pastor. Uh, my wife, Liza, and I have been married for 21 years. We've got two kids that attend here, CCS. Micah, who's 15, is a freshman, and Jonah is 12, and he's in seventh grade. And the interesting thing about our journey to CCS and to Concord is, you know, being on staff, um, a lot of people come to a school because of a staff position. Ours is kind of backwards. Um, I've been in ministry uh, for about 21 years, but we actually came to CCS and to Concord because of the school. And so at the time I was serving at a different church and uh, we were looking for a Christian school and we did a lot of research uh, and uh, we decided that CCS was the best fit for our children. So our kids enrolled here first. So we ended up, I tell people, we're at Concord because of CCS first. And then it was later um, when I resigned from a position at a church and we were looking for an actual church home for the first time in my entire life, uh, I was looking for a church home that I didn't work at. And so that's how we landed up at First Baptist Concord on the church side. Um, and then a couple years into that, um, I was fortunate enough to come on staff. So our journey is a little backwards, uh, but I say that to say this, that we are here primarily because CCS uh, brought us here. There are many, many great reasons for a family to be in a private school and a private Christian school and then specifically here at CCS. But I'm going to tell you my experience as why we love this. And it's, I didn't know this until I was on in my current position as the CCS pastor on this side of it as I'm getting to know the actual teachers and faculty on a personal level and really seeing what they do. And what I mean by that is, I believe, I'm, I'm sure every teacher loves what they do. Um, I'm sure they, they're really great at teaching math skills or English or history or whatever. But what I've learned is the faculty from the top head of school, Mr. Snyder, the principals, the teachers, they genuinely love these kids. And I've experienced that in several different ways. And so um, it's, it's exciting for me as a father to know that my kids, Mike and Jonah, they're gonna get great education. I expect that. Um, but more than that, they're gonna have teachers that genuinely love and care about Micah and Jonah DeWald. They care about who they are as young boys and who they're developing into as young men. And they care about their spiritual growth and development. So being around these teachers, I know, man, they, they passionately love Jesus um, and they passionately love these kids. And to me, that's more important than the subject that they happen to be really, really gifted at teaching, which is also great because we want our kids to be educated. We have, we have teachers that are discipling students who are new to faith in Christ. Like after class, it's just, it's special, special place. Well, I can say as a parent, you know, we didn't, our kids are not here to prevent them from experiencing the world. We're not trying to get out of our sin culture. We're trying to prepare them to live in it as scripture tells us to do, to be in the world and not of it. Um, and so, yeah, the, our students are real. They are sinners saved by the grace of Jesus Christ. And some of them aren't believers yet. And that's what we pray for a lot. Um, same with our teachers and same with our campus pastor, same with our head of school, our principals and our senior pastor. We're sinners saved by the grace of Christ. And so none of us have this perfect, we've got it all figured out type of situation. And that's the last thing we would want to portray uh, to anybody. Uh, so we deal with the same issues that any student would in any public school. Um, and the difference is, is that we, we fight it spiritually you know, as well. So we're putting on our full armor of God. As a matter of fact, we're going to be talking about that in chapel in a couple of weeks. Um, but our guide is not the changing culture. It's not the media. It's definitely not social media. Our guide is the word of God. And so the difference is when our kids are struggling with um, alcohol or they're struggling with pornography or they're struggling with gossip or their parents just got a divorce or they're struggling with gender and sexuality and these things that our culture, all, all students struggle with or they're, it's a part of their lives. The difference is that we have a map, we have a guide. And so we take them to the word of God uh, versus what's current in our culture now. At the start of last school year, all the faculty got together and we made a literally a list of names of students and parents that we either knew or believed didn't have a relationship with Jesus Christ. And we wrote those down and we lifted them up by name 
uh, to God. And we, we challenge each other, the teachers, to, to keep this list and ongoing active throughout the year. Let's pray for these students. Let's pray for these families by name. We just ask God, would you do something special with these names? We're giving them to you. These are your children. And last year during that school year, uh, we saw, to the best of my knowledge that I was a part of, we saw 23 kids come to faith in Jesus Christ on our campus, like during school hours with teachers, with coaches, with faculty, with myself and others. And that doesn't count many of them that um, came to faith with their parents, which is my favorite. I love hearing stories when mom and dad lead their, their children to Christ um, or with their student pastor. Um, and then we saw 46 students that were baptized by immersion um, on our campus during during chapels or during school. And I just think, you know, as a dad, with all the things that students across our country are experiencing in schools these days, on social media, um, that are just, they're just tough. Um, and I get to come to school, my kids get to come to school and see their friends get baptized during school. Um, but the thing that's special about that is in all 46 of those examples, there was three commonalities that we saw with those salvations and baptisms is that one of three things happened every time. Either they were saved and baptized because of mom and dad, they were saved and baptized because of a pastor or student pastor at their church. Some of them go to church here, some go to a different church, or they were saved and baptized because of a teacher or a coach or a faculty member here at CCS. And so seeing that kingdom education, the, the family, the church, the school working together for a common purpose. We got to literally see that lived out in 46 lives last year. Uh, so it was a truly special thing to see that. Like, what does kingdom education look like? We saw it last year. We we're gonna just talk about it. We, we lived it. My goal for us for this year is that we would become true worshipers. Yeah. So uh, like our chapels that we would truly experience and learn because worship is something you learn. We like learn how to worship and praise Jesus because that's what I want to see. Uh, we've never had a theme to that, that I know of at CCS. My kids have been here now for uh, eight years. And so to have a unified theme for preschool all the way through, you know, seniors in high school and, and, then, and then woven through everything that we do. So our academics and through our, our arts, through our sports, uh, everything is this one unified theme of live your worship live your worship so we're going to hear that a lot this year and the idea is based on colossians 3 17 which says you know whatever you do whether in word or deed do it all in the name of the lord jesus christ giving thanks to god the father through him and our application here at ccs when it talks about word and deed our application is word is our worship and we're actually worshiping god in chapel and church and in our cars and our bedrooms and then the deed would just be our lifestyle so my challenge for our students for our faculty for all of us is that we would grow as worshipers and that we would grow as followers. Mm -hmm.